First of all, thanks for buying a Gas Night Pro. I'm Jim with Gas Night, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use your Gas Night Pro. Step one, put the batteries into the back compartment on the back of the detector. I recommend using a small Phillips screwdriver to do that. Step two, turn the sensitivity dial on the front of the detector to about the halfway point, possibly a little bit less than halfway. Step three, press the power button to turn on the Gas Night Pro. After first turning on, the detector will be alarming and you'll hear a constant ringing sound like this. This is part of the normal warm-up process. What you just witnessed was the end of the warm-up process with the alarm noise slowing down to a tick or stopping altogether. The purpose of this warm-up process is to allow the sensitivity level of the sensor here on the end of the hose to reset and recalibrate before you actually use it. Quick tip. You can plug headphones, any non-iPhone uh, connection headphones into the side jack of the detector to silence the alarm or the noise at any time. Step four, adjust the sensitivity dial to your desired level. For natural gas or propane, the recommended level is so that a slow ticking sound can be heard. The way I think of it is, when this ticking sound can be heard, the detector is essentially balancing on the edge between alarm status and non-alarm status as it awaits exposure to gas. You can adjust the dial to a slower ticking sound for a lower level of sensitivity and slower gas detection. Quick note, in a normal environment, the typical tick rate is set usually to between two and eight ticks per second. Step five, once the level of sensitivity has been set, slowly approach the suspected gas leak source with the sensor cap on the end of the hose to find your gas leak. Step six, after gas has been detected and the alarm is going off, you can silence it by taking any one of the following three actions. One, reduce the sensitivity. Two, bring the detector into fresh air and wait. This way the gas or fumes will be exhausted from the sensor cap. This can take anywhere from five seconds to one minute, depending on the severity of the gas leak. Three, turn off your detector. This would not be recommended unless you're actually done using it. And now let's do a quick demonstration. Okay, so now I'm gonna let a little bit of gas out of the stove without lighting the burner. I'm simply going to approach the stove slowly with the sensor on the end of the cap. And there you have it. I hope this has been helpful. If you ever have any questions or concerns, you're more than welcome to contact us at the contact information below or in your user manual, and we'll always do our best to help. Again, thanks for buying a gas night, and we sincerely hope you like it.